Hey everybody, today we're playing Minecraft again, and we're going to be going back to a lot of old projects and making them better and fixing them up. I always say when I do a project that it's never done, uh, and today's going to be one of those days where we actually go back. Um, so in my plan, uh, revamp the roller coaster, uh, expand the sugarcane farm, expand the bamboo farm, um, and add quick travel over to the end. Alright guys, so this episode's going to work a little bit weird because I'm going to quickly show you the final project actually and then uh, I'll show you guys the time lapses of how I built it and how I did everything but again just a really really quick um, spoiler so there's some of the work that I did with the bricks there is the new sugarcane farm you can see that's expanded and uh, the thing the mine the roller coaster is already different uh, but anyway this is a quick sneak peek let's get into how I built it Alright guys, so what we're going to start with is redoing the roller coaster. So now we're not redoing all of it. Um, there's just a lot of boring parts that I kind of left boring or parts that I don't like we're going to redo. So what you're seeing on screen, I really wasn't happy with the village portion of it. Um, I think it like blocked way too much of the village. Because this village isn't a practical village. I'm not using it for uh, trading or anything. I'm just It's just a nice looking village it's right next to my house. Um, so I wanted to keep it a little bit more peaceful. So what I'm what I'm doing is I'm taking down like the big roller coaster, like thick stone wall, and I'm just gonna straight up just run rail through it because the rail is not very invasive. You can't really like I mean you see it, but you don't see it as bad as like huge thick um, like stone pillars coming through. Uh, and then I did run it like through a house to make it seem a little bit better because the old one did not run through a house. Um, and another reason I did change the village was because the big, the biggest thing that I wanted to change is the fact that um, during the middle of the roller coaster, it goes up near the mob farm, and then it just like it takes a turn down when it gets to the mob farm. You'll see me change that in a second. I really didn't like that. Um, I think it, it it was in the view of my base, and the roller coaster isn't particularly pretty. It's fun to ride, but it's not particularly pretty. Uh, so I wanted to run it past the mob farm, and this uh, because I did that, it opened up the village to be changed because I'm taking a different route. Um, now I'm going into the village from below. This is another change that I made. Um, when you guys saw that I built, um, actually maybe I didn't show you guys, but I built this like little hole in the mountain um, just so I could like fly through and it looks pretty. Um, instead of going from the village back around, if you guys remember, it goes from the village into the ravine. So it goes into the village and it goes back around, back to the base and down the ravine. Instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go from the village. I'm going to go through that little creek. I'm going to go back up into this tunnel. Then I'm going to... The, the portions like the nether and ice portions were above ground. And once again, I didn't think they looked particularly pretty because you could see them while walking around the base. And it was basically just like exposed and I just didn't like it. So what I did, like I said with the village, instead of redoing that, I rerouted it. Instead of going back to the base, I'm just going to go underground. Because technically the ice and nether portions of the ride, they didn't need to be up in the air. There was no reason. They could be, all the blocks around it are replaced so it could be underground. So that's what I did here is you guys see I built like this little hole down. And this is where I'm going to put the nether and ice now into the ground. And this is the portion, like I said, that it loops around and goes back. You, you, get, you can see it right here. It's kind of invasive. So I'm, right now I'm tearing all of this down. And like I said, we're just going to go completely underground. So really the big the big project with this roller coaster was not adding content. We do add a lot of content, but it was mostly to make it less invasive and take more of it underground and up high so you don't see it and you'll see me doing the up high part here you can just see me working on the nether and ice portions kind of like clearing it in a circle um so i can make room for the nether rack uh, and just a quick note the roller coaster um here obviously i'm recording and i'm letting you guys watch like the additions to the roller coaster because this is just the changes but the additions i actually i didn't record and what i'm going to do is i'm going to do the full ride of the roller coaster at the end of the episode so if you want to see the new additions i'm actually going to save them for the end so you could actually watch me ride the ride and see the additions for yourself now uh, these initial additions aren't super amazing like i said today was more of a reroute day and then um, a little bit of addition and then a big additions but uh, some of the additions included some like tnt explosions um some better like armor stand movement stuff like that's kind of cool a lot more like color tunnels stuff like that um a bigger drop even not just from like the top to bottom but also going underground uh like i said the village reroute stuff like that 
so it's a little bit different um the ending is mostly the same and that's partly where when i do make additions that's also going to be changed but for now i'm just do i'm just doing the big reroute because even the reroute itself takes a lot of material because that's like i said i didn't show them all on screen but here you can see the finished portion all right so let's that's basically all I did for the ride. The rest is off camera. Like I said, you can see that at the end of the episode. Here you guys might be wondering, what am I doing at a glacier biome? So, um, one thing that I saw a lot of other Minecraft Let's Players do, and I haven't done for some particular reason, was the fast traveling with the boats, especially in the end and the nether. I just usually just have simple ice and I like run and spam jump. And it's fast, but it could be so much faster without wasting hunger and without s smashing my keyboard so one way to do this is by taking not not just like um this ice but it's like the blue ice not ice but blue ice because that's actually faster than uh this type of ice or what is it called uh packed ice so not packed ice because like packed ice is better than ice but even better than packed ice is blue ice so you actually do go faster on it and basically you just take a boat and you could go across it with a boat super super fast so i didn't have any blue ice i had packed ice not blue ice now you can make blue ice by doing nine packed ice but i only had maybe like half a double chest of uh packed ice and you could actually find the blue ice itself uh, at the bottom of the glaciers there so what I decided to do is go to one of these grab the blue ice itself so I don't have to craft all of it but at the same time I did grab normal packed ice with it so what I took that packed ice and made it into so I basically mined blue ice and made it and once I got enough um, we're gonna go back to the base and just for now I'm doing the tunnel to the end because that's where like my XP farm is and I need that to be fast you can see me here crafting some and I'll go back and you guys will see me um, actually doing that. But like I said, it's I want to make this more efficient because there's no reason for me to like crouch or not crouch spam. It's, it's another game. Just jump spam. And this is just so much faster. And it's something that I'm also going to be doing in the nether. Um, so in the nether, you guys know that I have a lot of portals to like all the biomes the mesa biome the glacier biome um the mushroom biome a desert so just, you know i have a, so that we're not going to be doing today but that is something that's definitely on the objective i just got to get more blue ice so you can see me here starting you can see i just have normal ice there so it's or i have packed ice there so now i'm going to be putting blue and just a quick i didn't get that much blue blue ice is surprisingly like pretty painful to get in large quantities um so what i did is i made one lane blue ice and then just the beginning blue ice so i get a super fast start and then i just try to stay on the left side with the blue ice um it, it still gives you the speed because you're still on blue ice i just didn't make the whole double strip and that's where the whole thing comes in with another if that's going to cost a lot of blue ice a lot because there are like a couple thousand blocks in basically each direction that I have to fill in with blue eyes uh, but it's something that's definitely going to be happening and that's definitely something that I'm going to be grinding for um, because I, I just think it's something that's pretty like mandatory to do especially like considering I've had this world for like five years now you'd think this was like one of the I mean it's it's a pretty grindy but it's one of those things that I really should get so I can get places fast because right now as much as like the elytra really helps me with mobility above ground when it comes to traveling to the different dimensions it's a little bit slow but this will help that quite a bit and i don't know if i actually show me using it in the footage but i did use it and it's like three times as fast and like i said saves the keyboard saves the hunger saves a little bit of everything which is super 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 nice and then after after we're done with this we're going to be expanding some of the farms so that's going to be up next but you can see me here just kind of finishing up this last little bit all the way to the end with blue ice and then hopefully i show i think i do show riding it but yeah and one another project that is coming up that we're not going to do today but it is coming up is actually decorating this tunnel itself so at this moment you can kind of see it's basically just the ice the torches and the stone brick um when i built it 
stone brick was basically the only super cheap viable option real quick here you can see me making like the boat mechanic i just like kind of put a dispenser in the wall at first i tried uh like up top and drop it but that didn't work because there wasn't like something registered it just anyway so i just put it to the side and you can see me here just doing a little mechanism very simple just the dispenser with some boats in there you know and then when i press a button a boat comes out and then i ride it all right so now that we're past that um we're going to be doing probably the easiest thing well the easiest like expansion today is we built the bamboo farm either i think it was two episodes ago so this is a fairly new project but i decided it's something that kind of needs to be upgraded and probably eventually we're actually going to build a more a bigger and more efficient farm because this one's basically just getting some bamboo but i know there's like huge industrial bamboo farms for like smelting and stuff so we'll get to that later but for now what i decided to do was um increase the bamboo farm not in building a different farm but just actually adding more layers to the farm that uh, we built originally two episodes ago and like in in that episode i did tell you guys that like this this farm is meant to be expanded that's what i'm doing now i have some extra time i wanted to expand my farms and out of all the ones that i saw this one was probably the easiest to expand so it's exactly what we're doing and we're going to be expanding it by two layers it looks like kind of like i forgot or is it i don't know how many layers i expanded i kind of actually forgot this was a little bit ago like i said um in the past couple like years i've kind of changed the way that i've played minecraft before i used to like set aside six hours of my day and just play six hours while recording but now because it's easier for me and i think I don't think the content comes out better, but you get more content inside the episodes. What I do is I just play for like, you know, days and days and days and just record all of it. That way I don't have to like strain my voice and I don't have to like, you know, I can keep a fan on. It's much easier to play and at the end it is more work inside of that episode. So hopefully you guys don't mind the, these styles of videos with like a lot of the time lapses. I think they're nice because I can just put in a little bit of each project because if a lot of these projects take a couple hours and to be frank like each of these projects could fill an entire episode but I don't want to make you guys watch a 30 minute episode for just a single little expansion or farm um, so I, I like what I'm doing now and hopefully you guys do like it too saving you a bit of time giving you some more content you know um, and then I, I although it's like it's in a time lapse I think it's still slow enough to you guys you get the gist like kind of how I'm building this farm and I already I already showed you guys this farm in the last episode so if you really wanted to build it build it you could probably check the last one and if you guys want maybe like an actual tutorial um, I can do a tutorial for you guys but it's not particularly a very big brain farm it's literally just grass pistons and, a, and an etho hopper clock timer um, if you guys want me to make <laughs> um, like a tutorial on the ether hopper clock timer but that's just a couple blocks but anyway so that's basically the bamboo farm next what we're going to be starting is the one this is sing like the single project that i've wanted to upgrade for the longest because out of all redstone things at this base this sugarcane farm is probably my first or second that i actually built so this thing has been here forever untouched just producing um, but I looked at ever since building basically like the big warehouse in the basement I've looked at how much this farm produces and it's not that much because it is only one layer So I decided you know what why not while we're upgrading the bamboo farm Let's go ahead and upgrade uh, the sugarcane farm while we're at it and this one um, It was kind of a little bit of a mistake to start it or not a mistake to start it But it took a lot longer than I originally planned because I didn't realize that like with a bamboo, it's super easy. It's just, like I said, grass and a piston. But with sugar cane, you actually need water next to it. So not only did I have to put the grass, but then the water. And then the redstone was a little bit harder to do than the bamboo one because I already had a certain amount of redstone in place that I had to work around. So that was a little bit difficult. And then, like, the water would destroy the redstone sometimes. It got a little bit messy. But I did manage to get it. And what I'm going to be doing is actually expanding either two more layers or three more layers I actually forgot uh, but one layer is definitely not enough because really what I'm trying to go for in this world is like more of an industrial like I want to get every single item and I want it I want each item to be farmable now some items can't be farmed but any item that can be farmed I want to have a farm for it 
and then like like how i do with my worlds i build it and then i expand it later like we're doing now so it was one layer before now we're gonna add two or three layers but who knows in maybe like 50 episodes when i want even more sugar cane for completely no apparent reason we might build another one that's more efficient or i might add even more layers because why not um but also another thing that i did with this farm was not only upgrade like upgrade the actual farm itself but also i think i made it look nicer uh our other farm i'm not gonna say it didn't look particularly nice but the problem was it was like a 10 wide building and it was only three blocks up and it was just kind of made out of wood now it's still only going to be made out of wood you guys kind of saw it in the beginning of the episode but um i think it looks like more of a farm or a warehouse has that look to it so i think it looks a bit nicer i think big buildings in general look nicer especially like if you have like four big buildings and one small building that small building is kind of really out of place and it looks kind of weird um but like the the cacao farm is right next to it the vine farm is right next to it and um the cactus farm is right next to it and those are bigger farms like the structurally they're bigger uh so making this bigger kind of makes it it makes it look nicer with the other farms especially and like i said i kept the same wood idea so when i was actually building the farm itself i didn't think of the look itself i didn't really care about that so you can see me here i'm just playing like i'm just i'm just building the skeleton of the farm itself because what i decided to do is build the farm and then build here you can see me accidentally letting some water out luckily the sugar cane is unbroken because of the hoppers what i decided to do is just build the redstone itself and then do the decoration so i'm i'm worrying about the decoration last and partly because that's because like i said the rest one's a little bit weird i probably could have made it easier but the problem is the entire farm itself is like 35 blocks and redstone only reaches like 12 13 so i had to have like little intermission points which is kind of weird i had to like dip down one and probably not the best redstone idea here you can see me trying to like see what i did before so i could replicate it and like i said there's probably better ways to do it but i'm kind of stuck in my old ways i'm, I'm an old player i just I, I do what i i do what i'm used to i i i've been using the same clock for five years i've been doing these like really disgusting over like overbearing red thing like, whatever it's just the way i like to play i'll get better eventually but um yeah so a lot of this restaurant was pretty bulky so i decided not to do much of the decoration because i knew um like if i need one more block for redstone i'm basically gonna have to redo the entire decoration so here you can see me doing like the bit of the redstone it, the redstone itself is pretty simple all you got to do is run one redstone line the hard part again was just extending the redstone line but even that since it wasn't super hard you, you could probably get a gist of it it's a pretty simple i just dip it down one and then I, I dip it down so the redstone doesn't touch the repeaters it's not um it's not a crazy concept here you can see me i kept kept messing up on how far the redstone needs to go so i had to move it twice which was a little bit small brain of me but it worked out eventually here you can see um so i'm, I'm kind of happy that um i upgraded the sugarcane farm like i said the basement was getting a little bit lonely down there i had f like five six farms going down there and i wasn't getting much of production wise out of the sugarcane i'm never going to fill like 35 double chests without upgrading the thing um, so i'm pretty happy i got this done and i'm not actually sure if i showed the decorating of this building because that's that took quite a little bit because i had to kind of like figure out what i wanted i don't think i did um but i did show you guys in the beginning and i think i'm going to show you guys in the end once again um but here you can see kind of like the last remnants i'm just kind of like boxing up the farm and then i'm going to build the decorations around it um yeah you guys are getting an idea here you, this is me building the ethel hopper clock right here you guys saw it when i showed you in the beginning um i did something a little bit weird I actually like left the exposed redstone out for once i think i think the hopper clock itself is just a really nice looking piece of redstone so i kind of like put it in the front i didn't mean to do that i initially did it because i didn't have any room but after i kind of saw how it looked i'm like you know what this doesn't look that bad i actually i, I like it quite a bit so i ended up leaving in here you can kind of see me i'm working in the redstone clock but this actually ends up being part of uh, the design of the building which is good and bad it's kind of it's kind of on the fly so it's not good but i think it ended up looking pretty nice um for what i can do at least like I, building's never been my strong suit it's mostly just been um been the farming really and even that i could probably work on but yeah we're almost done with the project here you can kind of see me just 
finishing up the last part of it, getting some more wood, and you, you saw there for a skeleton, and I just start building it. So, yeah, I don't think I went much further than that. I think from there, yeah, I'm just, I think I'm working on the, on the, what am I losing? The, the roller coaster again. Um, this, this was part that I told you guys that I really wanted to move, um, because the roller coaster came up here on top of the mob farm, and I really, I didn't like that. So, I decided to move that, because I, if, th the main reason is, I wanted to expand the mob farm, but then I realized I couldn't expand it correctly, because the stupid roller coaster was so close. So, now that I moved the roller coaster, I'm free to expand the mob farm and get even more, um, but yeah. So here's the last bit, and like I said guys, the, the decoration and the additions I didn't show on camera, uh, but I am going to be riding the roller coaster in about like 15 seconds. So guys, if you want to stick around for that, that'd be great to actually get it. Alright everybody, now that you saw all the time lapses of how I built everything, we're just going to do one last thing today and we're going to actually ride the roller coaster. Um, just to kind of give you guys like a visual of what, uh, what it looks like to ride it nowadays. Um, so just a quick little preview again. So this is uh, the upgraded bamboo farm. I added another layer. This is the final project uh, with the sugarcane farm. So you can see I added two layers. Just kept to the same wooden theme around the entire thing. And the, now the clock is here. You can actually see the redstone, which is nice. And yeah, let the place up in there. So that is that. Now a lot of things I actually didn't include in the time lapse because I didn't record when I did them. Uh, but this, this is one of the things that I did. Obviously, I just I brought the stone over uh, towards our little ice palace thingy. So now that's brought over all the way here, and I severely flattened the land here. This used to be a giant hill. You could see that like that's like the remnants of the hill. Flattened it all out, and then a lot of the roller coaster I did not show on camera. Probably like a solid like over 60% of it. This. I don't think I showed you guys any of this in uh, the time lapse, but uh, like I said, we're going to go ride it. So you guys can see it like kind of like first person. And then right after the ride, actually what I'm going to do is the ride is going to be the last thing we do today. And I'm even going to turn my face cam off. I'll just let you guys ride it, put some music in the background. And when the ride is done, I'm just going to end the episode. So guys, um, Really, if you don't want to see it, you could leave here. But guys, if you did enjoy, make sure to like the comment and support the channel. And I will see you guys later. God bless and enjoy a roller coaster.